Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here in the Secret Bike Cave in West Central Iowa and check out this hot rod. Isn't that something? That is a 1985 FXR Custom. Maybe you guys have spotted it already. It's got the old knucklehead engine in there. Can you see that? So it's a knucklehead engine. I think it's Ted Cycle top end with s and cases. It's a cone motor. So he's got points in here. And he's also got an alternator on this side. Five-speed transmission. The bike had an Evo in it, but uh, they modified it, obviously, to get this uh, wonderful knuckle in there. But uh, isn't that something? thing is uh, finally 100% complete and ready to roll. However, we're uh, January 24th, I think, and we've got snow on the ground, so we haven't been able to ride it any meaningful amounts of distance. He has ridden it around the yard a few times when the weather was warmer. But uh, anyway, it's got uh, shovel head pipes on it that have been modified to fit. Just a gorgeous machine. We really, it, it needs a good cleaning right now. But to, so the bike came as a uh, non-running 1985, I think it was, and uh, everything was wrong with it. Motor didn't work, transmission was blown, all that neat stuff. And he just took everything to pieces, literally every nut and bolt, everything was removed, powder coated the frame, painted up everything, different tanks, different front end, different controls, different, you know, dual disc front end on this thing now. Uh, just did all kinds of neat, neat stuff to it. I think these are, I can't remember if he said four over maybe for the front. Just did all kinds of work to it. And then he started putting it back together. He made a new wiring harness for the whole thing. Every piece of wire is new. Just did everything in uh, just an amazing, just an amazing amount of work. He's done this several times with other motorcycles. Matter of fact, there's a knucklehead around the corner that he built back in the 90s. And these are two shovel heads here. One's with a swing arm. The other is with a uh, rigid just check that out. Isn't that neat? Belt drive back here. He's got a Brute 3 belt drive in here and a Rivera clutch, I believe is what it was called. Primo Rivera. Does that sound right to y'all? If y'all know better, please put it in the comments. But check that out. Isn't that neat? Got the straight pipes. Had a friend make baffles for it. We got a friend that owns a machine shop. Carburetor is a uh, Keenan, I believe. It's got this like thunder jet thing or something like that that gives it a big shot of gas if, when you twist the throttle. Truett and Osborne did the bottom end for him. The transmission is full of Andrew gears and uh, they did the up in 85. They had the keyway on the shaft, the main shaft. Well, this has got the spline shaft. They upgraded that. Electric start, of course. I'm guessing that's the oil tank there. Isn't that just neat? Like I said, it's an alternator motor, so there's no generator. There's a regulator right up there. Chromed everything, chrome the calipers, you know, chrome fender on the front, chrome wheel on the front. Now, chrome wheel on the front with spokes, but on the back, he's got a mag, and that's what he wanted. He said uh, the back one always gets dirty, even though it's a belt drive. Isn't that just beautiful? That gorgeous, look at that size of that disc brake. Amazing. Uh, drag specialist seat, he's going to get a bar back here for it. Just an amazing, an amazing machine. I, uh, I just lo I love the way it sounds. Uh, let's take a look at this. I think it's an LED headlight. Got the little bulb that's an LED on the inside. Got the eyebrow over here. This is very reminiscent of the old sport. As much it's just like my old Sportster. Got that right there. Y'all can't see it probably, but uh, you know, very nice. Put this on. That's how he wants that. Very minimalistic. Different bars in the stock. He's gonna get another mirror, I think, for the other side. Just love that. Just love it. You know, he plans to put a lot of miles on that this year. Just let that soak in. Quite a machine. Jumping back over here. Uh, one of the last things he had to do to it, he had a little bit of trouble with the brakes, got that fixed. But uh, adjusting the oil pressure. So he ordered a special thing here, and you can actually turn this knurled knob here. It's locked on, but and that'll increase or decrease the oil pressure, and that's... Uh, I think that's one of the last things he did. Here's the oil sensor over there, oil pressure. Oh, it's a little warm. We had it running a bit ago. Look at all those tubes and, you know, for the wet sump or dry sump system. Solenoid back there, starter right there. Like I said, he has a uh, belt drive under here. And so when he put the whole thing together, he wanted to make sure the starter worked. And he had a mock up here so that the uh, this all had somewhere to go into. So he's able to test that with this open shifter right there. Five-speed transmission, I think I said that already. Had these chrome, these brackets. Just fabulous, fabulous machine. I'm, I'm quite envious, to be quite honest. 
Honestly, uh, some of the hardest things to do on this, well, there was a lot of work to most of it, but the tank, it took a long time to get the tank done, you know, get it painted is what I mean. But they did an excellent job. It's, it needs wiped down and wax. I'll let him do that. I don't want to do that, but it really ought to be a neat thing. So this summer, we've got some bike rides planned already, and we'll take these two, the, the Sportster I've got over. That's a 76 Sportster that I bought from a high school friend of mine. He'd passed away, about from his widow. And we restored it to original. Anyway, we'll take these out and run. Go up and visit some friends. Our good friend Willard with his twin engine. He's got a two engine shovel head. <laughs> We're gonna, we wanna take that for a spin this year. We did a video on it a couple of years back and it was just absolutely amazing. Mind blowing actually. Isn't that just an amazing motorcycle though? I could just, uh, just stare at it for hours. You know, all this is chromed. Just fabulous. Fabulous. It'll look better shiny and it'll look better running. It's been a project to watch happen. You know, we've been following around, following along for, I think it's taken a couple years, maybe three years to get to this point. Two or three years. I said that the gas tank was the biggest holdup, but actually money. You know, you gotta, you gotta pay for all the parts as you go along. Quite a bike, quite a bike. Anyway. Now, if the weather is good where you all are at, it's not good here. <laughs> if it is where you all are at, get your bikes out and ride, my friends. And if you got a bike like this, let me know. Something interesting, let me know. I'd like to see it. Life is good. Get out and ride, my friends. Wahoo! Hey, a quick addendum here from the old bike cave. I got a friend with a 72 shovel head that's been customized heavily. We're going to try to get a video of that pretty quick. We're also going to try to get the covers off at least one of these soon. You guys will like seeing those. And if it ever warms up, we're going to take these hot rods for a ride. Wahoo!